and uh, C.S. Cherugui, the chairman of APTAC and all the officials. Good morning. Uh, you actually say we are here because of the new conversation that we have agreed on, that we need to have a new conversation based on investment, based on trade, based on opportunities, and based on shared prosperity. That's so why if you look at there, we are calling, uh, the tagline of our ministry is a new passport. It is still the old passport. It's still being used. The old passport so that you can be able to share the opportunities that you have to drive this country forward. We have agreed with these people, and you have given us tremendous support, that we don't have a problem of opportunities. Opportunities are there, and we have shared opportunities to partner with APTAC and uh, with, the, with the financial industry, the pension funds, circles, insurance companies, Islamic finance institutions. So opportunities are not the problem. We have agreed on opportunities in the road sector. That is why I brought my customer, C.S. Uh, Murkomen, whom I'm trying to convince to also take up the new passport. Because somehow, Kidogo, I have a passport here. has a money. And uh, my partner in the new passport, the provider of money, C.S. Cherugui, whose circles are here, uh, Sasra is here, who are partnering. And I want to tell you, Excellency, that. The SACO industry, the SACO movement is right inside uh, this initiative to partner with the, with the pension funds and insurance companies in providing uh, uh, this solution. We have got also uh, P.S. Singer who is away and uh, C.S. Zachary, they are away, but they are part of this initiative as consumers of, uh, of providers of the solution within our housing, our special economic zones, our uh, EPZ. Most critically, as Chris Hooker said, our, our privatization program, which uh, we have requested to, that we fast track the repeal of the, of, the, of the privatization law so that we can be able to free up the opportunities that we have with Kenyans to share into this. One of the things I like about uh, these people is that whatever solutions we come up with, we have got ready liquidity, a ready avenue through Nairobi Securities Exchange, and 28 days after you are swearing in, uh, you became the only living president to ring the bell at the, at the stock, stock exchange. So, so it's not something that, that, we, that we take for granted, and I'm sure uh, Jeff, in true African tradition, owes you a good because the market has continued to rise and rise and rise after, after that act. As I conclude, I want to say that I've been having discussions with a lot of our, our foreign partners, and they, have, they are really very happy with this initiative. I just had a meeting today with the American ambassador, and he has confirmed that uh, the pension funds and the mutual funds from the U.S. are watching this very closely. I'm having discussion with other foreign, foreign countries who also want to give us their pension funds, their private equity, their mutual funds to come and partner with this framework that is really freeing us from the old conversation. So, um, Safari Mianza. And now it is no longer talking. We, I normally talk a lot, but I will not talk because what these people have more is less of words and more of money. So with those few, <laughs> with those few remarks, I want to ask that we are starting as a welcome the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, to address this gathering. Welcome, Mr. President. Tafadhali tuketi chini. 